Hello everyone. Uh, somebody asked me to make a quite specific material function for them. So it's here. I'm going to put it in one of the material function packages. I'm not sure which one yet. I need to figure out which one has more than the other. Okay, so what does it do? It outputs a band in world space. And as you can see here, it's quite funky to play with. So let's go over what it does. Um, let's start with the line mover. If I at the moment it's like a test, it moves up and down just to showcase it. But if you plug in a static value, it doesn't move up and down anymore. To see it more properly, let's remove the rotational angle. There. I'm gonna grab one line. You can change the amount of lines as you can see. Now I have ten, though you can't see them all at once. But if I disable the line mover, you'll get ten lines and nothing more. So if I have two. You get a maximum of two, even if you go beyond those values. So I can actually show that real quick. Let me give a debug time sign there. I'm just going to copy that one and go from minus two to two. And let's make it go a little bit faster there. Let's do minus ten to ten. As you can see, it doesn't tell besides the two lines that you add or three lines or four lines there okay so that's that let's go back to one line and the line thickness is in units so at 100 units it's as big as that cube because it's 100 units big at 10 it's 10 units big there we go now there's the rotational angle and at 1 is on z-axis, at 0 is on x-axis, and on 2 it's on the y-axis. And any value in between changes that, so at 1.5 it's between the z and y-axis, at 0.5 it's between the z and x-axis, so that kind of thing. And you can do quite some funky things with that, because now that thing is rotating all over the place, there. And it's quite funky to see that. Now, if you want to change the pivot location, which is currently at 0, 0, 0, then you can change that value. Um, let's grab a factor of 3 and plug that in. And let's preview it first over here. There, and as you can see, over here is the pivot. Everything will rotate around that location. Now, let's say I want to lower that. So, hmm, minus 500 units. There. Now the pivot location is around here, where it starts to rotate. You can see that over here. Because everything is moving a bit of a line, you kind of have to take my word for it. But okay, it might be better if I just disable that thing then. There. Just play around with it, and you'll figure it out. Now. Since uh, this is like an additional free giveaway, take a quick look and copy and paste it if you want to. There's that. Okay. And that's it for the uh, for this weird material function. Take care.